So I would highly recommend that book, I think, to anyone, not only if they are interested in quantum computing, but in, in general, I would say. Is there a book or a podcast or simply an idea that you've come across in the past year that has really changed the way you think about something or affected you in a way <clears throat> that you want to, did you want to talk about? Yes. I think the one book that comes to mind, uh, it's called, it's a fairly famous book. It's called Quantum Computing Since Democritus. It is by Scott Aronson, who is uh, are, like, no one is gonna, uh, I think everyone would agree that he is one of the, if not the most smartest researchers in quantum algorithms, quantum complexity theory in the world, like period. He has, he has worked under so many great people and, and the work that he's been doing for the past three decades is just phenomenal. He maintains a, his own blog post where uh, like a lot of the questions you asked in the, during this conversation is about how do you know if a new news article is worth reading or not? I go to his, I go to his blog post because he is one of those people who would just go and he would lay out, tr lay out the truth as it is. And he is someone that you can just trust without, like just blindly trust him. But he wrote this book in 2013, I believe, which was based on the lectures that he gave as a postdoc at the uh, University of Waterloo from 2007. But this book is written in a way which is uh, at first pass you might, when you read it. And if you try to do the, uh, there are mini exercises, I could barely do that. They, they, these are not like math heavy exercises. These are very thought provoking exercises. If you're not used to think in the way that the book uh, that the book is uh, written, it would be very hard. But the but this book sort of just opened my mind uh, in a way. Like, what does it even mean to compute something? How and why uh, quantum mechanics is so different than classical uh, computing? And he takes an approach where you don't need to know any quantum mechanics. All you need to know is if you know if you come from either a computer science background, that's what he that's the background he comes from, or if you come from a pure math background, uh, you can still know everything that is all the foundations of quantum mechanics. In this book, it's it's mostly not math. There's uh, there's very less math, but it's written in an extremely thought provoking way. And like every every year, I try to come and read again, and I'm pretty sure I still don't understand all, uh, all of it. But he talks about everything. 